So, our next comedian, he's already making his way to the stage. This is one of the reasons we're recording tonight. Amen. Where, where you guys are in for a special treat because he came in from the road specifically to do this show tonight when he could be getting paid, you know, anything outside of here. <laughs> so, I mean, give it up for fucking Mo Alexander, everybody. <laughs> Give it up for Josh for running this show for two years. Yeah. I just got back from all of uh, Arizona. Uh, we get to Arizona, we pull, get pulled over the third exit into their fucking state. <laughs> Me and my friend Chandra, I can't drive right now, still some medical reasons. Third exit into the state. I'm in the passenger side. I'm like driving through Arizona. One, two, woo! -hoo 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 why are we getting pulled over? Are you speeding? You know you can't be speeding in here. I got weed in me. What the hell are you doing? We got weed in the car. Don't get stuck in Arizona. I'm not going to that fucking jail in Maricopa County. Fuck that, okay? <laughs> and she's like, I'm not, I'm not speeding. I don't know why I'm getting pulled over. The cop walks over to the passenger window, and I fucking hate when they do that. I hate it. They say they do it for safety reasons. That is bullshit. They do it for one reason and one reason alone, so they can sniff the whole car for weed. But I always keep my weed between a fat roll and my nut sack so they never get a whiff of that shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the police all come to my window like, hey y'all, you know why I pulled you over? And I'm like, melanin? And uh yeah. <laughs> And that confused the shit out of him like, you got melanin in your car, they're not even in season right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, I pulled you over because uh, I saw you swerve I had to make sure you weren't drinking and driving. Sir, I got to be in Scottsdale in two hours. I'm waiting to get fucked up over there. And then two other cop cars pulled up behind him. So we got three cop cars trying to take me down, which normally scares people. I'm, in my, I'm an asshole. I'm like, Ferguson! And uh, <laughs> the cops in my face like, so what are you going to Scottsdale for? I have a show tonight. Are you a musician? I'm, no, I'm a comedian. Are you funny? Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm funny. All right, well, cool. You got anything I watch on YouTube? You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, whole channel for me, YouTube. My All right, so if you're not driving, she's driving. Let me see her license. Let me see your registration. It goes back to the car. They're going back to the car for 20 fucking minutes. That is scary police to have white people. <laughs> Seriously, dude, in minute 15, I'm trying to remember the last time I was in Arizona and how old that girl was. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> he comes back 20 minutes later like, hey, man, we were watching you on YouTube. You're pretty fucking funny. <laughs> You have YouTube and your police cruisers? <laughs> Do the taxpayers know about this bullshit? <laughs> well, okay, you're cool. You got your, you know, here's your warrant. Warrant? What do we, we didn't do this shit. We, we were just driving. We didn't, I'm sorry, sir, that's my bad. I meant to say your warning. <sighs> also, I'm not trying to be a dick, but could you get your words right the first time? I just peed on my weed. Uh, <laughs> about that shit and we took off, right? And we, I went to my gig and I was looking at this bullshit ticket. Now, I've already told you I'm not driving for some reason he's written this fucking ticket out in my name. It's got my name, my address, my birth date, my height, my supposed weight, and... <laughs> shut up. And, uh, <laughs> and under where it says race and ethnicity, he has written in B slash N. Did he just abbreviate big nigga on this ticket? Did he? <laughs> so you think I'm playing? I got a, I got the ticket to show it. Be in on that. Big nigga. And I called one of my girlfriends to tell her. She's like, Oh no, baby, he didn't put big nigga on. That's supposed to be black male. He just fucking missed the leg. No, baby, that's the next box over. He just abbreviated big nigga male on this ticket. And had the nerve to tell me not to put him in my show, bitch. You just made the first track of a new CD. Do you understand who I am? I'm upset. I'm upset that Trump is the Republican uh, candidate now. I'm very upset about that. I hate the whole Republican thing. I don't give a fuck who you love. I don't give a fuck. I hate them all, okay? I hate both sides I really fucking hate this year. But the Republicans, I hate them all. The one I really hated dropped out early, though. That was Ben Carson. Because yeah. that idiotic motherfucker just was stupid and made me laugh. <laughs> I'm like, you really a brain surgeon? He's a brain surgeon. He's smart. He's not dumb. But you show, is he really a brain surgeon? He's just really good at the game operation. What the fuck are we talking about? 
Who is he operating on? You tell me the drooling motherfucker with that brain said to him, Dr. Brian Carson saved my life. Uh. <laughs> I don't even, look, I, I hate Big Carson because he's a little good joke. He tried to be hardcore. He's a liar. He always tried to lie about shit. One time, I was at the, I was at the Popeye chicken establishment. And someone rolled in there and pulled a gun on me and put it in my ribs. And I said, sir, you are robbing this place incorrectly. And then I pointed to the man behind the counter and sent him on his way. Nigga, you know you lying. Popeye's the not serve ribs. <laughs> I fucking hate Big Cars. I don't even think you're a real person. I don't. I think some little kid watched Harry Potter like 27 times, actually came across a fucking spell, and brought Cleveland Brown from Family Guy back to life. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the theme music from that show fit. My name is Ben Carson, and I would like to be your next president. Won't you come vote for me? There's Ted Cruz and Rubio and Donald Trump's hair. There's Christie and Jeb Bush, but no one cares. I stabbed my friend one time, does that make me the shit? My name is Ben Carson, your next president. <laughs> Mr. Connor said for helping me out last year because I, I was Woo! dead and I came back. And, yeah! Uh, a lot of people don't believe that. I really died. I really died. I died twice last year. The first time I died was April 5th and I was dead for two minutes and they brought me back. And for those who don't remember what April 5th was, it was Easter Sunday. So personally, I think I'm a much more efficient savior. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, dude. I was like, come on, I pick up right here. Give me your sins. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, this pre-day waiting period bullshit. I came right back, sir. <laughs> and my friend keep fucking me like, you went to hell, you died dead. Did you go to heaven? Did you go to hell? You probably went to hell. I know you went to hell. When I died, I didn't see any light. I didn't see any fire pits of hell. I saw darkness. Two minutes, just dark, dead as fuck. I did hear something, though, and the only thing I heard, I swear to God I'm not making this up, was the chorus of the notorious B.I.G.'s, I love it when you call me Big Papa. Yeah. I'm not kidding you, so I was dead as fuck, like, Put your hands in the air and be the true player. <laughs> and my friend Matt Davis was another comic, hopefully you guys get to see him someday. I told him about it, he was like, oh shit, that's cool. That must have meant you went to purgatory. Uh, which makes perfect sense, because that means purgatory is a rap concert from 1996. <laughs> and I had good seats. <laughs> about me going to hell, my friend always leave my ass up and think I go to hell about shit. I actually had a male nurse tell me I was going to hell in the hospital. I was checked in April 2nd, had blood clots in my lungs, I was fucking in pain and all kinds of shit. And I had a male nurse who I just wanted to punch in the fucking face. If there's any nurses in here, I give you nothing but love and respect because you do an incredibly hard job. If there's, any, if there's any male nurses in here, I hope you fuck yourself in the face with a chainsaw <laughs> and die in an oxygen tank explosion, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but fuck you. Why are you a fucking male nurse? Get a medical degree and become a doctor or get a mop and clean this shit up, okay, sir? Stop trying to touch me with your creepy Richard Simmons hands. <laughs> He was such a dick to me. He was just like, he was just like, hey, 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 uh, you wanna hear a joke? Bitch, I can't breathe. Why should I try to laugh? Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> but I couldn't tell him that because he's my male nurse, sir. He could accidentally kill me on purpose, right? So I had to put him with his bullshit. And then, then right before he got ship, off ship, he started asking me about religious questions. You know, he started asking me, so, what's your relationship with Jesus? In my mind, I know he ain't supposed to ask me that. I ain't his job to put the delight in my fucking neck. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't be mean, because I already tell you, it accidentally killed me on purpose. So I had to be nice to him. And, you know, I was like, the first thing popped in my mind was, unless you fuck up, hopefully long distance. <laughs> <laughs> He did not like that at all. 
They're like, you going to hell, you going to hell. Like, unless you become a Southern Baptist, you go up. Listen, sir, we at a Methodist hospital. How the fuck are you here trying to recruit us? Uh, <laughs> I have to have one more? Thank you. Okay, let me do this one. Look, um, I'm in a, see, at the past year, I've been in a wheelchair, a walker, now I'm getting off this fucking cane. <laughs> last year, today, they had my last surgery that fucked up my foot and bad. I couldn't feel anything. Today, the feeling in my foot came back. I need them bitches. Uh, that shit hurts. But the thing is, <laughs> after being after being in the hospital, dying twice and all this other bullshit, I'm in the best place I've ever been in my life. I'm in a good place. I'm working my ass off doing another CD soon. Yeah. I'm working. Yeah. I'm in the best relationship I've ever been in. I'm in a completely open relationship. I got two different girlfriends. Yeah. 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 I do. They're cool as shit. One of them introduced me to the other one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> One of them is 29, and the other one is 58. Because I have 45 years old, I can date a damn 14, 15 years old, and a damn bit of difference to me. Only reason I'm with a 29 year old is because I'm a math nerd, and I want to see how many times 45 will go into 29. Now, don't you dare laugh at that bullshit joke. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. But if you know anything about math, that would give you a completely irrational number, which makes perfect sense to that bitch is crazy. <laughs> The 58 year old, some of y'all look at me a little weird. I do not care what you people think about me. That's some of the hottest sex I've ever had in my life. She puts it down. Plus, she's a grandmother, so every night after we fuck, there are cookies. Yeah. So you've never been fucked properly if you had pussy and cookies back to back. You understand? Know I'm, I'm not talking about some bullshit shit with a whole Oreo cookie. I'm talking about laying in a bed of freshly fuckness with a hot melting from scratch. Pussy cookie going in your mouth. Tinder sometimes, hook up this real kinky chick. I mean, kinky as fuck, like yeah, I am. Kinky, sir. And one day I came over to the house and she just opened the door, kissed me, grabbed me, pulled me into the house. I'm like, this bitch is strong. <laughs> she spun me around and threw me on the couch. She's a big girl. She's like 5'10, 180. She's a good, solid little linebacker. And, uh, <laughs> She then proceeded to go down on me and give me the best blowjob I've ever had in my life. I'm like, this is a great Thursday. I love Thursdays, I was like, <laughs> And with her other hand, she kicked back the remote, turned on a Christmas game. I'm like, this bitch is marrying material here. <laughs> and then she got way too kinky for me because she tried to stick three fingers in my asshole right then. And I'm kinky as fuck, but I had to stop that shit right then because when it comes to fingers in my asshole, I'm just like the Highlander. There can be only one. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for fucking Mo Alexander, everybody.